Dr. Zakia, next question is, is repentance accepted if the had punishment is not carried out on a person? As I mentioned earlier, that a person should realize that the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his mercy and grace is in abundance. And if you commit a crime, if it involves some other people, then you have to restore their property back. Like if you have robbed, then give the wealth back. Or if you're taking something from someone, give it back. But if it is between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person should never be dissatisfied. He should never think that Allah will not forgive. Whatever sin he may commit, let it be the biggest sin. If he repents sincerely, as we mentioned in the last episode, Allah will forgive any sin. But if he has done some harm to some other human being, then he should try and undo it. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 68, and as for those who do not invoke with Allah any other God, or do not take any life of any other human being, unless for a just cause, or do not indulge in adultery, and for those who do it, for them there is a punishment. And Allah continues in the next verses, in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse number 70, as for those who believe and repent, and do righteous deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change the evil thing that he has done, the evil deed he has done to good. So that's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as far as the hath penalty is concerned, if it is a person who himself knows that he has done a sin, for example, if he has an adultery, so he should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for forgiveness. It is between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's not required that he should tell to the others. Because if it's told, then the punishment would be there. And as I mentioned earlier about the case of the woman from Johanna, who told Allah's messenger, she had an adultery and she was pregnant. And the Prophet said that come later on. And she came later on after she gave birth to a child. And she was stoned to death. There's the example I gave of Maiz ibn Malik in the hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number three, hadith number 4205 which Maiz ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, he tells to Allah's messenger that, O oh, Prophet, purify me. Allah's messenger says, go and repent and ask forgiveness. He again comes back and says, O oh, Allah's messenger, please purify me. He says, go away. Allah's messenger, please purify me. Again goes away. Fourth time he comes and he says, what is your? Purify you from what? Then he says, adultery. And Allah's messenger asks him that, are you mad? Are you drunk? And then after that, very fine that he was not mad, he was not drunk. He had to pass the hath penalty. But Allah Messenger said that both these two people, they had asked for forgiveness and they repented. So may Allah accept the repentance. But further it's mentioned in Hadith of Muatta, volume number two, Book of Punishment, Hadith number 12, the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, that stop committing sins, major sins, etc. And if you commit, then you have to conceal it and ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You repent. And if you disclose it, then we will have to pass the hath penalty. That means if the sin is known to the sultan or the ruler or to a qadi or to a judge, then it becomes compulsory for that person that he has to pass the hath penalty. That is told to death if he had an adultery or any other sin which requires the death penalty. But if it's not known and the person who has sinned if it involves some other human being, he should try and undo it. If it is involvement between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he should ask for forgiveness and ask for repentance and he should conceal. It's not a requirement that the punishment of had should be given to the person for repentance. But we have the example of Maiz ibn Malik who repented and did not mind being killed for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah forgive them and the Prophet said that even if you distribute it in the people of Medina, it will be sufficient for them forgiveness. But as a general rule, it's not a requirement that you have to pass the hath penalty for repentance. If you're exposed, then the penalty is there. If you're not exposed, conceal it and ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you repent and inshallah Allah will forgive you.